So let me make you clear on one point here. Yesterday we had a demo class. Yesterday we had a demo class at the same timing. That's at 12 o'clock. Uh, we went with all these basic things to understand about how we organize data in computers. That is based on two techniques, I said, file system and database. Correct? And these are all things yesterday I covered. Yesterday. Basic bit, nothing we started about SQL Server. It was all about to understand basics of what? Database. This file system, how you organize data through files. What are built-in and applications and programming languages? What are the disadvantages of file system? Database, operations of database, what is called DBMS, types of DBMS, what are available, what are outdated, all that stuff we have discussed in my last class. Today, we will start the introduction of RDBMS from where our subject begins. And even before I start, let me make you clear on one more point. One more point. Remember, remember, especially when I use the word RDBMS, we are going to understand basics of RDBMS. Because everything about RDBMS, we cannot understand in introduction classes. We cannot. We cannot understand everything in introduction classes. So let's just make few important points on RDBMS. Then we'll proceed with the next part. Okay? Fine. Let's see. First point on RDBMS, you always describe like this. R plus DBMS. R plus DBMS. R, technically, it stands for referential. R stands for referential. And what is referential? Remember, referential is integrity constraint. Referential is integrity constraint. Hmm. So, obviously, in introduction classes, I won't usually explain anything related to constraint because that is practical orientation. Somewhere in the middle of SQL Server, I'll get back to you on that topic. Right? So, integrity constraints. So, on that day, you'll get to know that integrity constraints usually will be of three types. Three types. One is called domain integrity constraint. Second is called entity integrity constraint. And third is called referential integrity constraint. Referential integrity constraint. Okay. So in that one will be referential. And what for referential? Answer. This is for creating relationships. Relationships. What relationships you create? It is for answer. One to one. Second, one to many. Third, many to many. And in that, remember, one to one we have for direct implementation. One to many also we have for direct implementation. And many to many, there is no implementation. There is no implementation. So simple to conclude that RDBMS does not support many to many relationship between tables. That was there in older versions. HDBMS, NDBMS it was there. But RDBMS has no many to many support. You got only implementation available with one to one and one to many. Bus. This is a kind of introduction to that alphabet R. Second, I'll highlight second. What is it? RDBMS was actually, if you look into it, it has been developed or it has been provided by one developer or by. Okay. And 
you can say like this rdbms was developed in the year 1970 by dr e f cord he is the one who introduced rdbms theoretical there was no practical support at that time all theory theory it was so when in which year 1970 right introduced developed anything you can say but it was theory no so anything is fine your wish it is your wish any word is fine here. was introduced in the year 1970 by dr e f cord and what he has done he has outlined 12 rules called god's rules and he mentioned any database software satisfies eight or you understand so you got like let at least you can say like minimum minimum number of rules minimum number of rules that should be satisfied from from where uh from 12 rules i mean to say from 12 rules how many it should satisfy the limit they gave limit is either it should satisfy eight rules or it should satisfy eight and a half rules eight and a half rules from the 12 rules any database software if it satisfies eight or eight and a half rules then it can be considered as pure rdbms the limit is eight or eight and a half out of 12 uh, now something important let me highlight important and what is it listen see a small point i'll highlight here there are many database softwares available okay one among them is our subject sql server sql server out of 12 it satisfies 10 cods rules 10 10 10 means more than 8 now so it is pure rdbms there is one more database software by name oracle which is from oracle corporation so it satisfies it satisfies 11 and a half cords rules 11 and a which is more than 8 so that is also pure rdbms there is one more database software by name called mysql mysql also satisfies more than 8 rules it is also pure rdbms like that many database softwares are there which are called pure rdbms because they all satisfy more than 8 rules then going forward let me talk now rdbms always presents data in two dimensional format that is in rows and columns that refers to table yes that refers to table table hmm hmm what is what is that row column and remember row from one database software to the other database software this terminology differs right row for us no change sql server calls row only in some database software they call record in some database software they call tuple same way column yes column in some database software they call field in some database software they call identifier in some database software they call attribute terminology difference term is same only table in some database software they call object in some database software they call entity in some database software they call relation 
these are term term difference and important is this word please presentation of data presentation presentation of data is always in which format two dimensional format going forward you just even make highlight a point saying that rd bms always supports to represent data in normalized way a table can be normalized in different ways of n called normal forms and you call them first normal form second normal form third normal form BCNF, fourth normal form, fifth normal form. And how do you refer? Like this. Here. 1NF, 2NF, 3NF. Full form I'll write here. Boys called normal form. Yes. NF. Fourth normal form, 4NF. Fifth normal form, 5NF. Yes. Every normal form has some set of rules again. Every normal form. So definitely somewhere in the middle of SQL Server, after completing the topic of constraints, I'll get back to you on how normalization and denormalization works in C in database. Right? This is a kind of introduction on RDBMS. Yeah, that's what I said. No? Prerequisite. I said that constraints in the middle of ORAC, in the middle of SQL Server, after completing the topic of constraints, we will get back to him and I'll, I'll explain you detail about normalization. So prerequisite is constraints. That should give you a clear picture for you to understand what is primary key, what is candidate key, what is foreign key, what is uh, not null, those things that you should be aware of. That is the reason coming classes may somewhere after completion of the topic called constraints, I'll take up a topic called normalization and denormalization. Do you get me what I said, Raju? And before I go, let me make you clear even on these words, please. Here, here. Can you see this word? RDBMS always presents. Here I use RDBMS always supports to represent. This is presentation of data. Displaying of data. Two dimension. Representation about designing. Representation is about designing, designing database. That is presentation of data. This is designing of data. Two different words, two different uh, points. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now we will come up with introduction to SQL Server. Now, in this introduction, 
in this introduction will first highlight will highlight four terms in the sentence four four terms what is it first point it is a product microsoft introduced in the year 89 as sql server 1.0 yes second you can say like this it is gui graphical user interface based rdbms yes it means what in microsoft sql server the environment where you work with sql server that environment is gui that would be a user friendly environment i mean to say that like user friendly environment hmm and always we use it as backend we always use it as what backend backend and especially from this release from sql server 2005 release release and later releases later releases from 2005 i'm saying and later releases they all are pure ordbms from sql server 2005 and later releases they all come under category of what pure or dbms object relational dbms hmm. and most important point that you would find is it is client server technology ah here i'll refer one small a kind of architecture for you refer to dot png file yeah i'll refer i'll draw one small picture here right here first let me make you clear on this term okay this is one machine okay system 1 and this is system 2 two. two systems we have now system 1 system do you assume your laptops that's that's very much fine i'm not talking about any any other system like your you know stand alone better i use a word stand alone single system system 1 system 2 two, two systems we have and i'm talking about stand alone environment single system and Uh huh. What do you find? Yes. Remember, you may have, you may have any Windows OS. Any Windows OS means means Windows XP, Windows Seven, Windows Eight, Windows Ten, Windows Eleven, Windows Server OS. Any any Windows OS. Any Windows any. and on that any windows os you are going to install sql server software what do you install sql server software you install hmm yes this is all about stand alone stand alone single system now if question comes like imagine imagine 
my system has windows os right say another machine another machine has linux os linux can you install sql server not possible at all not possible till till which release ha ah, let me explain this is the story i am saying this is till sql server 2016 release till 2016 release sql server used to get install only on windows os release release number important 2016 yes it's available only for what windows os windows windows may be choice any os that doesn't matter windows os is our point windows any os server os or anything now i'll talk about yes client and server yes release same 2016 only yes now here you have a server machine yes server server machine separate physical system acting as server acting as server server uh so i i'll better na no? i'll call like this server obviously server server machine physical system server system or server machine better i call server machine and if this is your server machine 100% remember on this machine you should have windows server os ah which os windows server os microsoft has two types of os windows single user windows multi user i am talking about windows server which windows server yeah you got versions windows 2000 server windows 2003 server windows 2008 server windows 2012 server os yes windows server operating system you should have that is multi user os from microsoft before windows server microsoft used to have multi user software by a name called windows nt nt later that nt they change to the release of sq sorry windows server os windows 2000 server windows 2003 server compulsory you should have windows server os only yeah on that on that what would you install obviously i install sql server software anywhere you are confused of anything you are always welcome interrupt me get it clarified then and there then and there don't wait till i complete the total content okay any any point which is confusing you if you have issues with your mic at least put your query to your chat panel i'll resolve we'll see in what way that particular point has to be resolved yes this is server 
you are not allowed to work on server direct server no no they won't allow you to work they only only person who can work on server on server is db administrator is the only one who is authorized to work on server we all will work as clients yes this is one client client yes one client this is one client. This is one client. This is one client. Yes. These are all clients. Yeah. Call them. Call them. Client one, client two, client three, client four. Yes, four clients. Client one, two, three, four, four clients. And what clients will have? Yes, clients is installed with only tool, tool. Sir, SQL server software they don't install. No, 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 no. They don't install. Only tool they are made available. Only tool. Yes, here they install one tool. Here they install a tool. Here they install a tool. Here they install it. And now rule, rule, server machine compulsory should contain Windows Server OS. Clients will have only tools, software will not be available. And clients, remember, they can be on any machine, can be on any OS. Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 8, Linux, yes. Client, client, server, no. Windows 7 OS, one client is working. One client is using Windows 10. One client is using Windows 8. Uh, one client is using Linux. Yes. Now they all are connected to this server. Client 1 connected to this server. Client 2 also connected to this server. Client 3 also connected to this server. Client 4 also connected to this server. Yes. Mm. This is till 2016. This is the story. Okay. Till 2016. Now, change, change, concept change. Now, now what is the story, you know? Now, now. Let me write here first. From SQL Server 2017 release and later releases. Later releases. It is available for different OS. Yes. Yeah. Now I'll take same picture and copy paste. Let me draw all the three with 
the way they be being deferred. Like this is one block for your reference. Now, this is a story from where? Till I'll remove, I'll make from. And this is not 2016, 2017. Okay, let me highlight both of them first. From 2017. Release plus later releases also. And later releases. Ah, what do you find? Yes. SQL Server is available on different OS. OS. It means Windows Server is, however, there, there, along with that, one more important point that I would highlight now, that I would highlight is you can have Windows Server OS as well as Linux Server OS as well. Yes. Both. Uh, and you install. What do you install? Obviously, very clearly I committed. SQL Server. Clients, any, any tool. But main server, you see server. They made SQL Server available on Windows Server also. They made SQL Server available even on Linux Server also. Yes, this is a comparison. Still anything that which is confusing you or you have any question connecting with this process, go ahead, please. Let. Yeah, Madhavi, any questions you have? Raju, what about you? Yeah, uh, like yes. if we have the uh, database in the Linux server, uh, like how it is uh, um, giving the security as compared to the Windows server, like what is the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First two point is, first two point is compulsory. You should have one personal account in Linux server, right? A personal account should be created. A personal user should be created. And in that particular server, you have to make your SQL server available so that it becomes centralized. It becomes centralized, centralized. So that clients, clients from various tools, they can approach, they can access SQL server software, which is available in Linux server. Separate physical machine will be there. Remember that, please. Windows Server also will have a separate physical machine. And, uh, and even Linux also will have a separate, you know, physical machine. Separate, separate. Linux administrator will manage Linux Server. Windows Server administrator will manage Windows Server. And DBA manage 
database server, database administrator. Uh, this is to for whatever I have explained in comparison to all these three. This is for SQL Server developers. Uh, when you go to administration, administration, there we find two types of environment for SQL Server. Standalone and second is called clustering. Standalone environment. Clustering environment. I'm talking about administration side. Administration. This all I have explained considering developers in assumption. And DBA assumption will be different. DBA point of view, DBA point of view, standalone standalone server has different option, different approach. That is that I usually take up in my admin classes. Uh, uh, your voice is uh, getting low. Okay. Is this is your is your point clear? Someone who asked me like, how is the security? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Yes, you understood, so, right. Like, right. Yeah, yeah, I have huh. one more question. So, yeah, yeah. Um, is this uh, like a uh, course is uh, helpful for the detailed development as well? Like how it is? Yes, yes, uh, yes, because actually my point is, my point yeah. is, listen, listen I'll, I'll clarify. I got your point. Uh, my point is, if you are planning to make your career into business intelligence, any business intelligence, any, 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 it, Usually, Microsoft also has got its own, you know, business intelligence tools. You call, they call as MSBI here. So, on any stream of business intelligence tool, prerequisite for that will be to have knowledge of SQL compulsory. Prerequisite. So, here you are trained. You'll be trained on how to write queries, how to manipulate data, how to write programs, how to manage coding part on database for developers. Do you get that? Yes, this will be helpful because compulsory before testing your knowledge on, on any business intelligence tool or any ETL tool, first they will test your knowledge of SQL. You're good in SQL. You perform well in SQL in interviews, but you could not that good manage BI or any ETL tool on which you're planning to make your career. Still, you're hired. Company definitely will put you in training in that case, and then they'll, they'll migrate you to the project. They hire you still because they feel you're good in SQL, so you can manage your ETL process quite very strongly. Yes, sir. You get that? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Query optimization and all, I usually take up in my DBA classes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. About three things I talked there. Three things. Yeah. What is called performance monitoring, performance tuning, and performance troubleshooting. The two at two levels, server level and database level. Uh, anything like a brief overview kind of thing you have to clarify and for that I can I can guide you. But complete optimization in our de development classes is something difficult. That is the reason I would suggest you all, 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 suggest you all, please don't ask management uh, to share the course content, which I have already shared to them very long back. You just collect that course content and you can go through whatever I'm planning to cover 
in our SQL Server development classes. Yes, Parag. Anything else you want to ask, Parag? Go ahead, please. You you understood what I said now about your answer to your query? Yes, sir. Like, uh, uh, like how much syntax difference it has if you compare uh, between like uh, Oracle SQL and uh, SQL Server or MySQL? Like then if you ask me, you know, I can say like this: eighty percent of SQL will be same. Eighty percent. Minor changes maybe then not 80, more than 80 only if you ask me. It big because there's a reason we say na, SQL is common, common database language. All database softwares work with SQL. Minor changes may be there in the syntax. Minor changes. Okay. That is the reason companies will also ask you like this. Companies. So and so requirement on so and so ETL as ETL developer candidate should be strong in SQL language. Bus over. Good in SQL doesn't matter in which you learn that SQL whether you learn SQL in Oracle or you learn SQL in SQL Server or you learn SQL in MySQL that doesn't matter. You should be good in SQL. All database softwares will work with SQL. Yeah, if we, now we are learning, assume we are learning SQL on SQL server. Now imagine you operate for a job. The company, they say that they, we don't work with SQL server, we work with Oracle. Let them, let them work with Oracle. You are good in SQL or not? Yes, go ahead. They'll train you for a few, few, for, for few hours how to enter into Oracle, how to come out of the Oracle, how to create your personal user, how to manage users, how to, if, how to resolve if an issue comes. Basic training they'll give you. After once you enter into Oracle, what will you do? The same SQL. Whatever SQL you're doing in SQL, so the same SQL you use in Oracle. Minor changes may be there in the syntax. You Google and learn that. That's what the point says. No? Common database language. Since every RDBMS understands SQL. Okay, Mohan. Did you get me, Mohan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. Yeah, what about others, please? Parag, you have any questions on these three architectures which I have drawn, Parag? Madhavi, oh, no, Mohan, I'm Raju. 